Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Escape Pod. Thank you for escaping with us. That's Andrew. Excuse mm-hmm. me. I'm Alex. And uh, and as always, with great power comes great. The Flash ability. I have never seen Alex more excited to talk about a movie. I've never been more excited to talk about a movie. <laughs> and yet, I wanted to start with this, but here we are starting with High Low Buffalo. I, we are Because he's the boss. Not true. I said multiple times we could start with The Flash, but we're not going to start with The Flash. No. Yeah, we have to wait for like three segments for The Flash, right? We're opening with High Low Buffalo. Yep. There then we're... after that, we're reviewing Elemental. Non-spoilers. Non-spoilers for El- Elemental. Then we're going to do a non-spoiler. Non-spoiler The Flash. And then we're doing trivia. Disney trivia. And then we have to go back to review The Flash. So you can watch until the end. The very end will be spoiler Flash review. Yes. So stick around for that. But before that, everything will be non-spoiler. Yes. You want to do your High Low Buffalo first? Yeah, I'll go first because you're a real dickhead. Uh, my High... My little brother Mario's in town. He's yeah. actually on the set. Mario, come Mario. on over here. Come on, Mario. Yeah, go around. Yeah, yeah just right over there. Yeah. What's up? Here's Hello. Mario. This is my little brother. I've talked about him a couple times. Uh, I just wanted to ask him, you know, what, what's a good thing that we could talk about with him on the pod? Movies, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite movie? Avatar. It's a good one. Uh, yeah, all right. The it. highest grossing movie of all time. Makes yeah, yeah. sense. What's your second favorite movie of all time? Avatar. The Way of Water. Okay. That's the second. What's your third favorite movie of all time? Into the Spider-Verse. Good pick. Great pick. I got no beef with that. And what's your fourth favorite? We'll do a Letterboxd for. Across the Spider-Verse. Okay, he likes what he likes. He likes what he likes. All right, thank you, Mario. (laughs) Lovely having you. Double Avatar, double Spider-Verse. That's my high. My little brother's in town. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, uh, My low, this is something I wanted to talk about. I have it written on my phone Uh because I'm not a professional yet. Um, Can you be? Slightly profesh? Yeah. There you go. Uh, um, you know, a lot of people have issues with some of our takes. A lot of people. It's, it's kind of become our shtick, Mm -hmm. but here's my thing with this latest Transformers review, especially on TikTok, we've gotten a lot of people saying that we only like Marvel movies. Yes, but also, that pissed me off. Well, yeah, I don't, that doesn't really bother me. Of course, they're going to say that you're in a Spider-Man hoodie, (laughs) but, um, uh, uh, they're all like, oh, bro's just trying to be different. It was an awesome movie. You get that a lot. Can you guys understand? I go into every single movie hoping it's the greatest movie of all time. You know why? Because Paramount is never going to invite us to anything ever now. After yeah. yeah. We, after we dogged their billion dollar movie, after we came on here and said it was awful and to kill all the human characters, there's no chance for me to ever have a relationship with Anthony Ramos now. I loved him in In the Heights, but he's awful in Transformers. I mean, it's bad for us to shit on a movie. That's why we're so high on Spider-Verse, I feel like, is because not only do we love that movie, but we want them to invite us to stuff. You know, I feel like there are a lot of creators out here, and look, I respect it. People work so hard on these movies. It's like their child for some people. Yeah. Some people are so, so proud of those movies. And here we are. We have no experience in film. I've never held a camera. I've never acted on camera. And here I am dogging these people for doing what they love and get paid millions and millions of dollars for. But I think we got to hold people to a certain standard. And I think there's too many creators on here on social media and everything that just say the positives. And I'm more than happy to be hated by everybody to tell the truth. Truth. Yeah, heaven forbid we just say our actual opinions. Yeah, exactly. So that was my low. And then uh, my buffalo, um, I shaved. Yay! You're welcome. Woo! Yes, I know the beard was terrible and patchy and hideous and awful and I looked terrible. I know it was a playoff beard. I guess none of you in America know what that is. But when your teams are in the playoffs, you are not supposed to shave from the moment they are in the playoffs to the end, to either they lose or win it all. And for my hockey team, the Florida Panthers, and my basketball team, the Miami Heat, we had very deep playoff runs that unfortunately ended in a 4-1 loss for the both of them. But it's fine. It was a tremendous historic run for both eight seeds. So I guess either you guys just, uh, you guys aren't growing any beards because uh, your teams just didn't make it very far. No stress. But congratulations to Denver. Congratulations to Las Vegas. And uh, we'll see you next year. There you go. All right. That's it. I'm done. You okay? Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Hi. I rambled a lot for that, but I really wanted the spotlight. Well, you had it. Yeah, I know. Let's go. All right. Uh, I forgot my buffalo. 
Can I be? I mean, you uh, slightly profesh. Yeah, I mean, okay. you could just be spontaneous with your buffalo. Oh, that actually helps me remember what I thought it was. <laughs> All right, nice. Okay, uh, no, my my high is I got a car. Oh, that's right. I bought a car. You paid too much for it. That's true. Actually, no, I didn't. <laughs> yes, I got did. I got it like two or three thousand under market value, which is great. But it has AC. Congratulations. I have AC in my car. Woo! You had a click for that. Since January, I have been driving in a car with... Yes. With What do you do when a car is too hot and it doesn't have AC? Oh, this is very funny. What do you do? You lower the window. Right. What hap- What's wrong with my window? The window on the, the driver's, driver's side, side. didn't it work. <laughs> it was so obnoxious going to drive throughs with him. Yeah, because I'm we're, opening we're my... We're at a McDonald's and... <laughs> I'm you, opening... The, I'm like... Yeah, can I get a number five? And and they hand it to him. You know how you hand it like through the window? You'd like, like have to go above like it. Reaching and around. Disaster. Trying so, to go into parking garages, like getting the little ticket thing. Oh, I forgot about that. You'd <laughs> have to drive you. like farther, but then you'd yeah. hit the gate and oh. The security So good riddance. Right. Your w- window now works and you have AC. Yeah. I'm Significantly more comfortable. Definitely a high. Yeah. Uh, my low is the outfit that I will be wearing on the Patreon episode. Yes. You are a streaming lately on YouTube. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, and I, I didn't win a Fall Guys game last night. Yes. Uh, so our roommate Haley got to choose my outfit for the Patreon episode. Yes. And what will you be wearing? I'll be wearing a jean mini skirt. All right. And uh, a tube top. A, a, like heart shaped bra to awesome. top thing. Yeah. Awesome. So if you want to see it's that. It's like a, a, a j- jort. It's a, it's a jert. It's a jert. Ooh. Yeah. That's hot. I might look good in Straight it. Straight out of like the Dominican Republic. Yeah, maybe. That outfit. And this, this is like very like colorful and yeah. So uh, if you want to see that, join the It'll Patreon. It'll look really good with your very pale complexion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll balance very well. No, uh, if you want to, if you want to see that, join the Patreon. Yeah. Also, I don't know if you know this. We're getting close to a thousand Discord members. Yeah, woo! So if you want to be the thousandth member on the Discord, go join the Discord. Yeah, uh, we'll love you. It's forever. awesome. We try and do lounges a lot. I was skipping out a lot because of the NBA playoffs, but I am back once a week. I'm in a lounge with y'all, just chatting with y'all. It's a whole lot of fun. Uh, those of you that have done it many, many times, vouch for us in the comments. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, my Buffaloes. I've been, t- you know, I decided to be spontaneous. I talked to Deborah a little bit. Oh, okay. Have, have you, you've been How'd seeing, that go? You've been seeing Deborah any? Or? I haven't. I haven't actually. No, your mental, my mental health. health is, I'm. I'm kind of in a good space right now. Even though the TikTok the last week hasn't been doing great. Yeah, the TikTok for the last week hasn't. I been, think you like, need to the call last her up. three days haven't been doing well, but that's fine. Um, you should probably get one on the books. Maybe, but part of the reason why my mental health is doing really, really well is uh, I quit my job. Yeah. Yeah. I, why? Uh, because I'm so happy and confident in what we're doing here. So you guys. Uh, you guys are really, really help change. You guys are really helping change my life. Uh, so, so I, I felt confident enough with what we're doing here. Obviously, you guys showed an unbelievable amount of love to the Fanta thing and everything yes, like that. Yes, thank you for that, guys. Thank you guys so much for that. But um, uh, uh, more stuff coming soon, and uh, hopefully, this will be both of our full time jobs in in a matter of days, weeks, months, whatever you guys can do. But uh, we really, really, really appreciate it. And I salute you all. A, a clink for all of you at home. I salute Love you. y'all. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm excited. Yes. Um, because we got the best Pixar movie we've ever, we've had in years. You ready? Three? Yeah. Oh, frick. Uh, I yeah. know what you gave it on Letterboxd. What did I give it? <laughs> what did I give it? <laughs> gave it four stars. Okay. So just double that out of ten because okay. it's five stars. Double it. Are you serious? Carry the one. Okay, I got it. Ready? Three, two, one. Eight, eight out, out of ten. ten. Correct. Yeah. Is that the first time we've ever specifically hit a number? That's yes. Great. Um. Uh. Uh. I. I have many things I want to say about this movie. Yeah. Holy crap! Did it just floor me? Yeah. I was shocked at how good it is. I don't know if it's like the the combination of the marketing not being super yeah, great. Well, we'll get to that. Let's but, just talk about the movie. Well, I'm just going to say, and Pixar just not being great recently. Maybe both of us went in with low expectations. Okay. But. Well, it's getting. All right. We'll just talk about this. It's getting bad reviews. It came out of Cannes but with like a 50%. It has gone up. It's at like a 70 or 80. It, it's at a 79 the last time I checked. But that's. Now I've got hope for Indiana Jones. Right. Because they did the same thing. Like, like everybody was like trashing it at can and yeah. they were trashing elemental and can elemental's great so indiana jones is probably great and the people at can were just a terrible anti-disney audience yeah can you just like 
be nice. Like these are this elemental is great. It was great. I I don't know what the f they were saying did, about did it. Did you did you cry? A, a little bit. I I teared up a little bit. I did. I saw it with soups at an advanced was... screening, and I was sitting next to him. And there's like a moment at the ending, and audibly he was, was giving it, was me it a this? was it this? yes. Thing? Okay, he was giving me a. <laughs> it was very funny. It was no. great. No, but we both we left that theater and we were like. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my god. I imagine you saw it separately. Mm -hmm. I saw it I actually saw it in one of those 4D theaters. The the chairs were moving. Oh yeah, how was that? It, I've never done it before. It's very fun. That's how I saw Jurassic World, the newest one, oh. and I that's the sickest I've ever been walking out of a movie theater. I loved it. They had they had smoke. <laughs> they had smells. Oh, water how fun yeah it was and with that movie that'll be fun yeah it was very cool elements and your yeah. water and fire and it was very cool grass and the characters were really cool there were good jokes there were good jokes the, like the, the crying every yeah, time they cried brilliant. was so funny so funny <laughs> so funny the game that is essentially hot takes but, but they're crying. crying to make you cry i was like this is great oh and the way he made her cry yes. i love that character did it not remind you of dylan a roommate? Yes. How funny. It's it's Dylan and Jess. That is very similar. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Wow. No, he was a great character. Wow, we really got to take them to see that movie. Yeah, they really need to That's see it. That's so funny. I think they handled the themes of the movie well enough where they were like, there was no one particular bad guy. Disney doesn't really do that anymore. Disney doesn't have villains. They either do twist villains or no villain. Right. It's very interesting. But um, The antagonist was the water. Yeah. <laughs> It was the the dam that was broken, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, a lot of cute moments. The the moment under the bridge. Yes. Was really pretty. Yes. Uh, well, the animation. Was really good. But so there's a short before it. <gasps> Let's talk about that. Um, It is an up short. And, and it, it's great. Did that make you cry? <laughs> no. That made me tear up a little bit. Um, It's really cute and it's really funny. Just like the whole movie. I, I really wish that, like, it, it really reminded me of one of my favorite Pixar movies of all time, Cars 2. Because it really, it really, rock, like, hit me right here where yeah. I really wished that the original Up movie did. My phone, too? Yeah, I think you deserved your phone on that one. Okay. Um, anything else about Elemental? Uh, I'm just saying it's one of the best Pixar movies we've gotten. Okay, so I've got this take. Okay. I think it's the big, best Pixar movie since Coco. You I like, think because you like it better than Soul. I think it's better than Soul. I not by much. I love Soul. Do not get me wrong. I love Soul, um, but I think it's better than Soul. I think it's the best one since Coco. It's not better than Coco, but I think it's better than Inside Out. I, I I'm put, lower on Inside Out though than everybody else in the that's world. Fair. I think I think it's right. Like I put it upper middle Pixar in all of my rankings. Like it's upper middle, right around where Inside Out and Coco are for me particularly. Yeah, you're too low on. I'm Coco, too low on Coco. To, I totally you need understand to that. Watch it. Um, uh, on the way home with Haley, I went through the, the the Pixar movies that are better. I want to see if you agree. So, Incredibles, Incredibles Nemo, Nemo, Toy Story Three, Toy Story One for me, not for me. Monsters Inc. Yep. Uh, Inside Out for me. Coco no. for you. Yeah. And then Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Wally. -E. And that's about and that's up. about it. Yeah, yeah, up is better. Oh, I've got Cars 2 better. You but... think Cars 2 is better than Elemental? Yeah, probably. <laughs> what a mid movie. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> is it time? <laughs> is it time? <laughs> I think so. I've never been more excited to talk I'm about a movie so with interested. anybody else in my life. Can we talk about how talented we are at not discussing movies before we're in front of the camera? It's very painful. It's so hard. It's so hard. <laughs> it's you so can... hard. If you guys like think about like how you talk about movies like, with your right, friends, like, like as leaving, you're walking out of the theater, and me and him, every movie we see together, like... we just have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for some time, sometimes... we don't see them together, yeah, and sometimes... we choose not to. Sometimes we don't see them together, and sometimes it's so obvious. Like Transformers, we were both like. That was bad. <laughs> and like Spider-Verse, we were both like... That was amazing. But we don't talk about specifics. This, you came home last night and he was super hyped. I wanted to film last night. Right. I, I, was live, I was live on stream. He came into my room. He's like, can I film? Can we film right now? I was like, we're filming tomorrow. But I don't know if this hypeness is because he thinks it's the worst movie in the world, best movie in the world. He has one specific thing to say about it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just excited to talk about it. Like, Are we he, doing the countdown? Yep. Yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm I'm in between. All right. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. So you're giving it a point five? I might give it a point five, but it might go up or down. All right. A little by a point five. Ready? Yep. 
three, two, two one, one 8. six 5. out of ten. This movie is mid <laughs> as f- this movie is so I'm giving it an eight, yeah. I'll mid. Give it an eight. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. To everyone who said this is potentially the best comic book movie in the world. Get the f out of Frick here. Frick you. What is what is what's going on? It's good. I am the voice I think it's good. for the voiceless here. Flash was unbelievably, inconceivably, and frankly, astonishingly mid. I I do not understand. I mean, look, we both talked about this before the movie came out. The marketing for this movie was just let everybody in the universe see it. Right. And say it's the best movie ever. I guess that that's what the angle was. They had Tom Cruise saying it's what theaters need right now. James Gunn said it was the best movie of the year, better than Guardians 3. No. His favorite comic book movie of all time is Into the Spider-Verse. And he said that this Flash was better than Across. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's it, Soup's his favorite movie of the year. Insane. Straw Hat Goofy, friend of the show, Soup's friend of the show. Straw Hat Goofy went and saw this movie at CinemaCon, made a TikTok about it that was like, I do not condone what Ezra Miller did, and we'll get to that. I do not condone what Ezra Miller did, da da this, da da that, but this is a great movie. Believe the hype. Okay, one second though. No, wait, no, you didn't give it that. I was about to say, you said, that I thought you gave Transformers a 6 out of 10. I gave no. Transformers a 6 out of yeah, 10. Yeah, I gave Transformers okay. a 4 out of 10. Yeah. And it's okay. probably a 3.5. And I, I want to say, I think that this movie is like a hair better than Ant-Man. Quantumania? Yes. It's definitely better than Quantumania. Well, we gave it essentially the same score in response to Quantumania. You gave Quantumania a 7 out of 10. And you're giving this an 8. So you're saying it's one point better than Quantumania. I think it's one point better than Quantumania. We can't do spoilers yet. No. I Like, oh my gosh, was this mid. <laughs> like, like I, I think... Okay, we're just gonna. I, I guess we're gonna have to wait till spoilers. the public. Yes, I'm with you because I'm not famous like this guy who saw that movie two months ago, or Soups that saw that movie two months ago, or everybody and their mother that saw that movie two months ago. I mean, the other day I was out with a couple friends, mm-hmm. and I, I was talking, and he was like, "Oh, so what'd you think of Flash?" And I was like, "I haven't seen Flash," and he was like, "Oh, I saw it two weeks ago." Normal guy, he doesn't do social media, so like everybody freaking saw this movie early except me. Well, I saw it opening night. I saw it. Last night, which was Thursday, uh, June fifteenth, or whatever it came out, like us, and I have to say, we have been bamboozled, hoodwinked, led astray, and run amok, and flat out deceived by the influencers saying that this movie is the best thing in the world. Shout out Stephen A. Smith. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a. Uh... With the response we were getting from this movie from everyone who saw it early, right? I couldn't find an example of anyone saying anything negative about it for the last three months. Yep. Guess what there's to say about it? Some stuff that's negative. Yep. Absolutely. A lot. There's a lot of positives. No. And I, yes, there are. Yes, there are. I, I can name two. What are they? Are they spoilery? Yeah. I can name like two really strong moments in the movie, and there's some things that we're going to completely disagree on. I mean, oh my gosh. Uh, what a mess. Yeah, this is one of those, like... Well, we could talk about this because everybody's talking about this. The CGI is awful. Right. It's that bad. But here, like, I know I you think... saw it two months early. It's as bad as you probably right. saw they, it. Right. When it's I saw so it, bad. when I saw it, like, they introduced the movie. They were like, this is, like, an early cut. Like, the CGI is not done. I was like, okay, I'll give it a pass. But, like, all their faces are, like, not faces. Really, it's really bad. The CGI is, and, and some people really came out are saying like there's a reason for that or whatever. But like it was interesting. It's a dumb reason. It's an excuse. Yeah, it's, I think the it's CGI is really bad, and it does take you out of the movie multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> I the in the the little bubble is that what you're talking about? No. Well, the chronosphere, yeah, or whatever they yeah, call yeah. It, and all the things around it. That's that's what I remember being like. Yeah, that was really bad. But yeah. like you can make the excuse that that's supposed to be bad, right? But in the opening scene where he's, mm-hmm. it, it's, that's not a human. That is a video game. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really bad stuff. Uh, I want to talk about this positive because it's not a spoiler and nobody else in the universe is going to talk about this. Ezra Miller is fantastic. Ezra Miller, I don't know really anything about this situation. I don't know about the human being. I don't know them personally. Obviously, what they have done is terrible from what I do know. 
Uh, and obviously, they are probably never going to work again. But they are really great in this movie, and they are by far the best part of this movie for me. Disagree. Yeah, interesting. Did a fine job. Yep. There's something spoilery that I want to say about it, yep. though, so I'm not going to say it. Yep. But I'm not going to say you're completely wrong. Yep. Uh, I thought they gave a particularly spectacular performance, personally. Uh, is there anything else we can say about it? It's just one of those times where it's like, I guess the marketing was good because they let so many people see it and say positive things about it. But at the same time, it's like. You see what it did opening day? You see what it did preview day? No. Nine million. Spider-Verse did 18 million opening day. Uh-oh. Thursday. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. DC fans online, there's billions of them. In the theaters, they don't go. Batman v Superman did not make a billion dollars. It made $800 million. Oh, that's because it was a garbage movie. But garbage MCU movies make a billion dollars. Captain Marvel made a billion dollars. Yeah, because Marvel has a track record. DC doesn't. Black Panther doesn't. made a billion dollars. Also, Captain Black Marvel's Panther a, made $2 billion. Captain Marvel's a better movie than Batman v Superman. No, it's not. So is The Flash. No, it's not. So is Cocaine Bear. Yeah, Cocaine Bear is better than both. So, Cocaine Bear is better than The Flash. So is Quantumania. So is Man of Steel. Mm-mm. Yeah. Yeah. A uh, little bit of a disaster. I'm a little bit worried now. If James Gunn is acting like this is, if this is, no, I, I'm no longer. Excited. We need to have someone on the pod that loves it, like ten out of ten loves it, because I like it. Soups. I think it's a good movie. Soups. We can have him on. We'll have him on again. Okay, we're gonna take a break. I know you want to keep talking about it. We'll do spoilers later. Yeah. But you have trivia for me. I do. Six out of ten, huh? Yeah, I thought it was aggressively fine. So you think it's about Fellowship of the Rings? Yeah. Level. Yeah. Fellowship of the Ring, The Flash, Cocaine Bear, all in the same category. I'm so interested to see what you disliked about it. Yeah, because we're going to disagree big time. So look forward to that. And if you haven't seen the movie. Oh, yep. yes. Oh, I'm going to fight you real hard. I know hard. you are. Real hard. I know you are. You're wrong. I know. Like you're way off. No. Yes. All right. Oh, I'm going to be so I'm mad. giving you Disney song lyrics and you got to oh, finish fair. the lyric. If you do not, I'm going to shoot you in the foot with a real gun. Oh. Yeah. You will have no toes. We're in California. We will go to Alabama, your home town. Okay. <laughs> I've got plenty your, there. Your, home, your stomping ground. <laughs> yeah. All right. You want uh, thingamabobs? I've got... Plenty. No, 20. Frick. You've been what? shot in the foot. Uh, I, I have nine toes. Yep. I'm not good at song lyrics. This is going to be bad. Great. Uh, one jump ahead of the bread line. One swing ahead of the sword. sword. I steal only things I can't afford. I love and that's that everything. And that's everything. Bum, bum, it's bum, only bum. what I can't afford, but I will give it to you. All right. You think the only people who are people are the people? <laughs> uh, <laughs> who look and think like you? Oh, that's Pokemon. Colors of the Wind. Yes. Oh, mwah. I don't love that movie. Great. Song. That's a top ten Disney song. Maybe. That's our next hot takes, by the way, is Disney song, song hot takes. So get ready for that. Yeah. Probably the next episode. We're going to fight. No one's slick as Gaston. No one's quick as Gaston. No one's is incredibly thick as Gaston. Neck. There you go. To see her is to take. That's all you're giving me? <laughs> to see her is to take. Six words. To see her is to take. I don't even know what movie that's from. It's Cruella de Vil. Oh. Yeah, no idea. It's a sudden chill. There's children throwing... How many, how many toes do I have? None. Seven? There's there's children throwing snowballs instead of... Hairballs. Throwing heads. That's from... Uh, what? Th- that's from... Uh, what's this? What's this from... You know... How, uh, what's it called? The Night Before Christmas. Never seen it. You've never seen A Night Before Christmas? No, but I look at Jack Skellington every day. Uh, you look like you look like a, oh very funny thank you you've really never seen it Mm-mm. wow you don't want to be in a movie that could cast you as live action that they're gonna definitely make a live action nightmare for christmas oh right? i hope not oh they're definitely gonna do it uh Pet- oh petition. this one wanting to be th- this one longing to be thinner that one longing to be fatter no <laughs> that one wants to get the girl and do i help them yes i do these poor unfortunate souls. Oh, I was like, what are Come these? on, baby. That's the only lyrics I know from that song. No, oh, that's a banger. It is a banger. All right. I bet Melissa McCarthy killed it. Uh, down here, all the fish is happy. 
as off through the waves they roll, the fish on the land ain't happy. Ooh, I've got no clue what this is. You're making lyrics up now, I'm pretty they sure. They're sad because they in the bowl. That's from Under the Sea. Don't remember that at all. He's lying oh, to me. Oh, here we go. A spoonful of sugar helps. The medicine go down. There you go. Mary Poppins, baby. Yeah. Oh, What I... does she have on her umbrella? What's the end of her umbrella? It's a bird. I know. But is, what is it? A stork? No. It's like a... Like a... Penguin? Uh, I think it's a... What are they? Um, this is an easy one. It's like a parrot. I couldn't care less what she wears or what she looks like. It all depends on what she does. No, she cooks like, what come that, on. What, what that mouth Mulan? Does. What are you doing to me? <laughs> if this I don't know it, I'm just going to fill it in. I don't know. Tell me, princess, now when did you last? Let your heart decide. A whole new world. What a great song. That Pop makes that, that's, that song right there makes me wish I wasn't single. A dazzling In place, place I, I never knew. knew. A doo doo doo. Oh, so good. I want to go to Disney World with you and ride the, the carpets and then play that. Don't you dare close your <laughs> and eyes. And we just are singing to each other. Who's Jasmine? You. I want to be Aladdin. <laughs> In the Patreon episode, I'm going to look like Jasmine. That's true. Oh, um, oh, I love this song. I know everybody on this island seems so happy on this island. Something, something on this island. No, that song everything sucks. is by design. That's the Moana song. I know it's the Moana song. Oh, My brother hates that song. You, he hates How Far I'll Go? I think it's semi-mid. I know everybody yeah. on this island. island. She says island a lot. On this island. See? Everything is by design. Banger. You like, I don't even do you, know. Do this. you like that or you're welcome better? Easily how far I'll go. I think you're welcome is the worst song in that movie. You like the crab song better? Shiny! You remind me of the, you remind me of the crab. Shiny! That song like is a top two song in that movie. <clears throat> oh, but the the village song. Away, away. That one's good. Shout out Lin Manuel Miranda, professional. He is a professional. He is a bit of a loser, and I a little bit hate him, but he's a professional. I don't. I've never understood that hate. I don't know what he did. Because all everything now sounds like, look at me. My name is Jeff, and I'm gonna rap like I am on Hamilton. That's every song now, thanks to him. And it's just annoying. Let the storm rage on. Uh, it's the famous da, 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 da. one. What comes after that? Let yep. the storm rage on. Let it go. <laughs> cold never bothered, bothered me. me oh, that's the last slide. I said the famous one. Uh, I should have gotten that one. I mean, it's crazy. We finish each other's sandwiches. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, that was that was cute. Uh, life is so unnerving for, for a servant who's not serving. Server, but yes. You swoon, you sigh, why deny it? Oh, oh. <laughs> Is that from Princess and the Frog? No, Hercules. Come on. It's oh, yeah. Song in Hercules. It's that or Go the Distance. You Don't say anything in Hercules is a better song than Go, go the Distance. Go don't. the Distance is a top 10 Disney song for me, but I think I Won't Say I'm in Love is up there. It's a good one. Megara. Yeah. It, so the line is, it's too cliche. I won't say I'm in love. Um... Oh, all right. We'll finish with this one. It's clear from your vacant expressions. The lights are not all up uh, on upstairs, but we're talking kings and success successions. Even you. Well, you messed up the lyrics like three times in there. It kind of threw me off. Uh, Come on, let's be prepared. Be prepared. Even you Darn can't it. be caught. <laughs> Even you can't be caught unaware. Hope you were just leading me into the chorus, but. Didn't work. Sorry. All right, we ready? No, we're doing the TikTok filter. No! Please, let's just talk about Flash. We're only at 30 minutes. Really? We're at 31 we're minutes. We're zooming through the shit. Wow. Uh, we're doing, you said we, you wanted to do fast food. Yeah, we'll do fast food. Okay. TikTok filter list, I say we're going to do top 
10? Yeah. It doesn't have to be fast food. It can be restaurants as well. Just make just sure they're chains so we don't get like a Pollo Tropical situation where okay. you've never had it. Okay. You want to go first or you want me to go first? Uh, you can go first. I'm saying to you? Yep. Okay. You have to blind rank these one through 10. Here we go. Ready? Yep. McDonald's. It's very hard for me to not put this one, but I have to show some restraint. I'm going to put it at three. Okay. Zaxby's? Yeah, Zaxby's is pretty good, but it's, I don't know. I'm putting it at seven. What the? I just don't live in Atlanta. You put McDonald's at three and Zaxby's at seven? Have you, you're acting like you've never had a McDonald's French fry. You're acting like you've never had Zaxby's anything. I have it every time I go to Atlanta, but it's it's an Atlanta thing. That doesn't mean the quality of it goes down. Just because you don't have it often doesn't mean it's not as good. I'm going to dock Chick-fil-A because they're not open on Sundays. In the same way that I'm going to dock In-N-Out for only being out here. Well, you in should dock In-N-Out can... for being garbage. I actually really like the fries from In-N-Out, which I've heard as a hot take. Of course it's a hot take. What's wrong with Zaxby's? You think... Their chicken sandwiches are perfectly good. I think I prefer a Chick-fil-A sandwich. I can't. I'm sorry I brought it up. Okay. In and out. Um, I will put them at six. You put it above Zaxby's? Okay. We shouldn't have done this. We shouldn't have done this. In and out is a clear 10. Um, You're out of your mind. No. They have some, like, A-tier fries. Their, their menu is four items long, and their fries taste like chalk. Where do you have five guys? Five guys. Don't. I like it better than Zaxby's, but I got to put it at eight. Because yeah. <laughs> the five guys burgers are like slightly worse than the In-N-Out burgers. Wendy's. Well, Wendy's is, is, is a top four. You started smiling Wendy's and like acting really excited good. when I said Wendy's and McDonald's, but when I said Five Guys and Zaxby's, you're like, I don't freaking know. Wendy's is really good. Wendy's, oh, I want to put Wendy's at two. I can't do it though. Wendy's at four. You also don't only have to do fast food. You do like a restaurant. You can give me like a Red, red Lobster. Red Lobster. Ten. I'm not a seafood guy. Um, um, I just want to talk about the flash waffle house. Oh, nine. That would have been 10 waffle house is <laughs> garbage. I could take your list and like probably just flip it upside down. And that would be my list. Wow. That's some poor choices. How many more do you have? I have three more. I've got five, one and two taco bell mm, five. I wish that could be lower. Olive Garden. Yeah, I'll put Olive Garden at two. Chipotle. Sure. Read your unbelievable list. I'm not thrilled with this list. I'm not either. Chipotle at one, Olive Garden at two, McDonald's at three, Wendy's at four, Taco Bell at five, In N Out at six, Zaxby's at seven, Five Guys at eight, Waffle House at nine, and Red Lobster at ten. If I did it my way, it would have been Waffle House at 10, Red Lobster at 9, Taco Bell at 8, um, Zaxby's stays at 7, Five Guys at 6, in and out at 5, Olive Garden at 4, Wendy's at 3, 2 Chipotle, 1 McDonald's. Okay, whatever. I should have made McDonald's 1. All right. You ready? I'm yeah, I'm ready. Ten. Arby's. Yeah, uh, 2. Absolutely not. 2. It could be a one. Unbelievable. Not unbelievable. I'm trying to think of like national commercials. Outback Steakhouse. Seven. I keep going there. I'm and pretty I, low on Outback as well. I keep going there and I keep wanting to be impressed and I never am. I like the, the, the whole Australian thing. Yeah, but I just it, like. But I, make I think the food the steak is so underwhelming. Yeah, make the food better. Exactly, and they never have a good burger. Their their salad was good. Ah, uh, I don't know if I've ever had their salad. Their oh TGI Fridays. I'll put it at. I don't go there often, so I'll just put it at six. Me, Matt, and Dre when they lived here, we would go once a week. 
Burger King. Eight. Wow. Yeah. They've got good shakes, and their nuggets used to be a dollar. They're not anymore. Yeah. But when they were a dollar for ten of them, it was like, Ow. you're losing money not buying them. That's not how that works. Subway. Ooh, I'm crushing. I've, I've got a little wave now. Subway's a freaking... Subway's a four. Subway's great. Cheesecake factory. Ooh. Because of the cheesecake, given they're a factory of it, we're going three. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A's a one. Wow. How many do you have left? I've got two. I don't want to tell you the spots. Capital Grill. Never heard of it. Oh, wow. It's a franchise, and they have them out here. Never heard of it. It's very good. Um... Hmm. All right, I need three more. Two. Uh, nope, three. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm nervous. I'm just not thinking of too much here. You eat out multiple times a day. You can Ooh, think. Lay's Pizza. Ooh, that's a f- oh, five. Shake Shack. Nine. You're just missing your ten. Maybe. Let me just find some garbage for you. Some absolute garbage franchise. Church's Chicken. Never eaten there. Okay. Well, it's awful. Okay, so I have... (laughs) We never did Popeyes. Damn. I got Chick-fil-A at one, Arby's at two, Cheesecake Factory at three. Solid. Yeah. Subway at four. You're much higher on Arby's than everybody else. Right. Subway at four, Blaze Pizza at five. I'd swap those. Then TGIF, Outback, Burger King, Shake Shack, Church's Chicken. Shake Shack deserves to be higher. Yeah, I'm not nearly as angry at your list that you are at mine. For whatever reason, you have very strong opinions on what I put in my body. I had a lot of jokes that went through my head. I decided not to say any of them. Cause they it's were... a shame. That's what they are <laughs> watching for. It's almost like you don't realize that I'm counting on this for income now. Oh, yeah, you quit your job. Mm-hmm. Let's rank Wait. Jewish community centers. Number one, Jason Momoa's. Mm, that's the one in Hawaii. It's not got to be number one. Drake's in Toronto is really good. What about Deborah's? Is Deborah Jewish? No, she just owns Deborah always <laughs> struck me as like a Alabama Christian woman. With like mother of two, probably. I want to talk about Flash. I think we're fine. How about we do horses? No. Okay, let's talk about Flash. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen The Flash, go away or get spoiled about this unbelievably average movie. Are we doing pros or cons first? Let's talk about your pros and so I can immediately get into my cons. Because I'm ready. Oh, uh, put them up, brother. Okay, first of all. Okay, I have a, I have a con. Uh, the pro is... I thought we were starting with your pros. No, I am. I am. The pros... This, for me, is clearly one of the best DC movies. No. It is not as good as Wonder Woman. Yes. Uh, other than that, I think Justice League is better. Snyder Cut is better. I think Josh Whedon's Justice League is better. It's Josh, not Josh. No. Not that I should be correcting you. He's a dickhead and he made a bad movie. But he, he didn't he, make your favorite movie of all yes, time. Yes, I know it's Josh. Um, other than that, I think this is the, the, the next best DC movie. For the DCEU. Yeah. I mean, That's Suicide. The Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad is better. I think this is better than Aquaman. This No, Batman v Superman. Aquaman is better than this. Batman v Superman is not even close. So, other than Wonder Woman, Justice League, I think this is it. Um, and The Suicide Squad. I think they handled the storyline with his mother very well. Yes. That's the highlight of the movie for me. Right. And there's some really good moments there. Yes. The mother stuff Uh, is really good. The mother stuff is really, really good. The ending in the supermarket is fabulous. Yes. And that's part of the reason why I said that they gave a spectacular performance. Yes. Despite their on the off the field issues. So starting at the beginning of the movie. Yes. We get one of the best action scenes. The opening scene is uh, an absolute highlight of me. I feel that this movie goes like this. Yeah. That's I think it gets worse as it goes. Well, the ending is... I think the opening is a lot of fun. The, the opening is a lot of fun. I have some issues with it, but the opening is a you lot of fun. You get the Flash being the Flash. Yes, finally. And, oh, I have another pro. We'll talk about that later. Yep. Um, yeah, and like you said, Ezra, great job with the getting ready to run. And then, can I have the... That's super fun. And I loved seeing him 
be hungry and dealing with that and the thing in the air with the baby shower and he's like and he just goes into the vending machine that's hysterical that's so funny and also all of the babies like about to die like knives are going at this baby and this baby's about to get lit on fire <laughs> and it's very like accurate how he deals with them he can't move the baby because it'll explode but he has to move the the, uh -huh. the microwave did you love that or I what I love that I know you did okay so yes. that's one of my other pros yeah, the opening I was watching I was like wow this is great <laughs> I was like I and they literally talk about it later it made me so happy because people have said I'm an idiot for not liking the quick quicksilver scenes as much as everyone else because he moves human beings at the speed of light and they don't die okay in this movie Barry moves Barry like three feet and he throws up. Like, cr uncontrollably. Yeah. He gets it, really sick, which is hilarious. And they literally talk about how, like, he had to save the babies in a certain way not to kill them. Like, thank you. Yeah. That's all I need, right? And you're still letting him do super, like, not realistic stuff. Yes. But at least, yeah, okay. So, opening with Flash is really, really great. Yep. In tandem with that epicness is yep. Batman's epicness. And I have said this before, and I'll say it again. This is the best live-action on-screen Batman potentially we've ever gotten. You're talking about Ben Affleck, Michael Keaton, or both? Both. All right, I'm going to speak. Ben Affleck is my favorite Batman. I've said this many times. Let me tell you, his suit has some hints of blue. And yep. it was very handsome. It was very cool. Uh, yeah, I thought him and Michael Keaton were both bad in this movie. I thought they were honestly particular lowlights for me in this movie. Literally no reason. I was so excited when you told me that, that you thought it was the best Batman ever. I said be action scenes. Okay. Best action scenes ever. I was so excited that they gave Andy Muschietti, the director of this movie, is the director of Batman, The Brave and the Bold. Excellent. Yeah. So I'm sure you're, sure you're thrilled about that. I am now not excited. There's literally moment. no reason not to like Batman in this movie. Uh, I thought that every Batman scene was aggressively not Batman. What the f***? What? What the f***? What? There's so much nonsense with Batman in this movie. Give me an example. Ben Affleck is not... Well, look, it's fine because it's... I don't know what Snyderverse we're dealing with. Give is me this, an example. Now, give me an example right now. The the conversation with Wonder Woman with the Lasso of Truth. Hilarious. No. So good. That, but that's not Batman. That's bad. It's not bad. No, absolutely not. Now, let me tell you. Conversation with Barry... As Bruce Wayne, great. Great. Where he's like, don't do this. But what the fuck? Batman doing that. Let me tell you, Alfred He's is... not doing anything. He's... Wonder Woman did something. But it's not funny. Like, that. Sh you shouldn't have Batman doing that. Okay. That's bad. That's one of the reasons why so many people hate Justice League is because they have Aquaman do that. Why the fuck did you think it was a good idea to have Batman do that? Also... Flash, despite giving a good performance in this movie and being the Snyder versus Flash, is not Flash. Him being like, oh, I've never had sex. Not. Don't do that. What are we doing here? He's not Spider-Man. Spider-Man's had sex. So I wanted to bring this up. You haven't had sex. So if you're right. this world's Spider-Man. Okay. All right. All right. You haven't had sex. You right. are literally a virgin. You tell people this. All right. All right. Somebody commented the other day. On our TikTok, it said, what a couple of virgins. And you responded and said, yup. No, I didn't. I think the podcast did. I may have responded yeah. that. but You should have responded half of them. Andrew. Yeah, I, I usually do. But like, <laughs> you're such a virgin that people like know. I will say, there is a comic book panel. This is, I will give you this because of this, where Wonder Woman was lasso of truthing everyone at once so that they had to tell their secret identities in the Justice and League. And it says I'm Batman. Yep. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm familiar. I, I just, yeah, I, I, I didn't like that at all. Um, he has guns. Also, the motorcycle that he's riding, it shoots. Everybody has a problem with it in BVS. Why didn't you have a problem with it in this movie? I do have a problem with it, but in this movie, he's not actively blowing people up. No, okay. He's just flipping over cop cars. Correct. If you don't, if, if you, if you don't see a fine. difference between him literally blowing cars up and driving through them and then shooting people and then also killing people in that other scene and don't see the difference in, in this movie where he does not clearly blow people up and murder them, yeah, there's a difference. All right. That's fine. You're telling me what him you... grappling onto that car and sliding and jumping onto the car and using gadgets wasn't epic and saving people off that bridge? I had a lot of fun with the opening scene. 
but most of it was with Flash. You're not going to respond to the scene that I just talked about? Awesome. Best Batman. So I'm dying to know your thoughts on the Michael Keaton thing. Because you haven't seen Batman Returns. Not that you needed to see Batman Returns, but Michael Keaton as Batman, I mean, they were definitely going for a No Way Home thing in this movie, and we'll talk about this later with the ending scene. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But um, they're really going for a No Way Home thing, and it did not do, the nostalgia did nothing for me. I'm sure it'll do something for everybody that was born in the 90s that he's their Batman, but did did Michael Keaton do anything for you nostalgia-wise? I did think no. that the Bat Kite to get the lightning was very funny and very accurate. Yeah, there's a lot everything of good in those movies is stupid and campy. But I didn't think anything about him was like awesome. I mean, the action was really good. Him diving, the we, bulletproof thing. We saw that in the trailer. Gadgets. Yeah, we saw too much in the trailer. Absolutely. Yeah, we saw way too much in the trailer. But each Batman fight scene, uh-huh. you're under you're under being excited about the first scene with Batman, which was great. I was watching I'm that like you, I was the, the, more happy about the Flash in that scene. That doesn't mean you can't be happy about the other. It was both awesome. And then but every Batman Michael is Keaton... my favorite superhero of all time. And if you look at like my favorite superheroes of all time, you look at the top five. It's Batman and then a bunch of Marvel guys. Look, Flash isn't in my top fifteen. For me to watch a fight scene that takes place in Gotham and be more excited about the Flash than Batman, there's a problem. Also, I wish they did a proper villain. What if that was Clayface? Why did it have to be Maroni's son? You know what I'm saying? The guy that blows up the hospital. Oh. It's not a proper Batman villain. What an interesting thing to complain about. Also, it's very interesting that you're under you're 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 complaining about the representation of Batman because of the one comedic Lasso of Truth scene, but you're totally fine with Batman v Superman where he's murdering people. If you're talking about yes. representing a character and your your favorite character being represented on screen, and one of his main things is not using guns and killing people, and they make that a big point in that movie, that's fine with you. But him him doing a comedic scene with the Lasso of Truth totally takes you out of the movie. Yes, absolutely. Stupid. No, and that's why I think that Batman v Superman is a better representation of Batman than the Batman because. What? Absolutely. Okay. Because this is a Batman that has been Batman for 40 years. He's lost a Robin. He's disgruntled. He's furious. And yeah, he's killing people. Yeah, I don't love that and everything like that. But it's not saying that this is Batman at the start. Right? Batman never, no matter what, at any moment should be funny. He can be funny as Bruce Wayne. Can't be funny as Batman. Unless it's like Michael Keaton where he's confidently funny. Let's get nuts. Do you have any other Batman negatives? Because yeah, I kind of have a lot. But, I mean, if you want to move on. If you're getting so upset, you look devastated. I just don't understand what you loved so much about the action I, in this movie. We have Batman doing awesome Batman things with gadgets. When have we gotten that before? We got it a little bit in the Batman, and we got the one scene within Batman v Superman. Yeah, the Batman v Superman warehouse fights. I can't remember everything that Michael Keaton did, but the whole, the whole long thing about saving Supergirl and him using a gadget to launch up the elevator and him diving down and using a bulletproof cape and Ben Affleck at the start grappling onto a car and sliding around and and using gadgets and doing this. All awesome. We just haven't gotten that before. All right. So Batman is just gadgets to you that I know why you're thrilled. Yeah, that's all he is. Yeah, he's just not all gadgets. He's also someone that took an oath not to murder people, but... That apparently doesn't matter. Things mat- change. That doesn't matter to he you. He loses family. Things change. Like yeah. Batman being comedic for literally half a second and that ruining a movie. you got to consider that this is the same Batman that is murdering people. That's my issue. It's not like this is... What if Robert Pattinson made that joke? Yeah, that'd be stupid. Stupid. It should be even more stupid that this Batman, when we were introduced to him, was murdering people. So it should be more stupid for Ben Affleck than it is for Robert Pattinson. That's my point. Well, that's a DC problem. That's not a this particular movie problem. That's I think a, it is a this particular movie problem. That's a problem. DCEU problem. So I'm about to make a statement. I've been dying to make this statement this whole conversation. This whole since last night. I was sitting in the theater and we see Henry Cavill Superman on the TV. Saving the people at the volcano. When, when he's like, where's Superman? Why can't you get Superman? Because he's late for work. Mm-hmm. It's like, why can't you get Superman? And, and he's like, 
He's like, already called. He's busy. And then he sees him on the TV and he's saving a bunch of people at the volcano. What, what about Diana? Uh, she hasn't answered. Like, those were my first options other than you. And like, you're going through that and it's Barry and it's Jeremy Irons, Alfred and Ben Affleck, Batman. I'm patching you into to Bruce and everything like that. And they're all talking. I'm sitting in the theater and I go, wow, I'm going to miss the Snyderverse. Really? Yep. Why? And that's such a crazy thing for me to say because obviously Man of Steel is my least favorite movie of all time, which kicked off the Snyderverse. But I really think they did something kind of cool with the Snyderverse with like just a couple things that they did. And I, I think that everything they did after Man of Steel, I thought was better and built upon it. And I think that it's it's funny, everything that this movie does with the Zod timeline in Man of Steel Everything they do with this movie is to aggressively say, yeah, Man of Steel is bad. Everything they do, they take it away from the city. They take the fight away from the city. It's in that big, open desert area in Kansas, which I loved. Don't be killing a billion civilians. What are you doing here? So, I don't know. I think that they had something really interesting. And I do think it's a little tragic that we got the Snyder Cut and it ends on that amazing moment. With Darkseid staring at them through the portal, and here they are, and they just beat Stefan Wolf, and they cut off his head, and everything like that, and and it's like, it promi- and then he he leaves, and he's like, Desaad, prepare the army, we'll do it the old ways, and it's like, and you get that amazing flash scene, which they reference in this movie, which means this is the Snyder Cut universe, which is awesome, and like I'm gonna miss that. I wish it would have gotten some more legs. It's obviously probably good that it's died, but I'm going to miss it, which shocks me because ever since the James Gunn announcement, I've been like, finally, we're getting a proper DC move- universe. That could have been a proper DC universe, and I'm kind of sad we're losing it. You're going to miss Henry Cavill is what I heard. No. He likes Henry Cavill as Superman. He's going to miss it. You can take whatever you want with that conversation. Can we talk about the ending? Yeah. I screamed when George Clooney showed up. I couldn't believe they did that. I literally went, holy sh**. You must have seen a different movie than me, brother. When did they do that? The ending of the movie, when Barry is leaving court and his father, you didn't see any of this? He's leaving court and his father has been exonerated right. because he changed the shelf And a thing. car pulls up. Car pulls up. Guy that gets out for me was George Clooney. For you, who was it? I can't... Uh, yeah, it might have been that. I can't remember. I literally went, no f- way. I said it out loud. Yeah. I can't remember. I mean, good for them. That they did all the Batman... I mean, they literally did every single one except Val Kilmer. Because Adam West is in this movie. Obviously, very briefly. But yeah, um, they did all of them. Uh, like, like to do everyone except Val Kilmer. Which, obviously, you're not going to do Val Kilmer. You can't speak. Yeah. Um, but... I was like, oh no. <laughs> I was like, wow. I So I have a big thing I want to talk to you about. Where do we go from this? I mean, I, I don't think we do anything with this. Because Ezra Miller's gone. James Gunn resets. I don't think we do anything with this. But James Gunn said that this was the reset. That this was going to bring us into the new universe. I thought I this I was going to bring us into the new universe and it was going to be the new Flash actor. I did not think we'd have a Batman actor for it to be George Clooney. George Clooney is not going to be Batman in Batman Brave and the Bold. I no. can guarantee you. No, I don't think we're going to revisit any of this. I don't either. But then, like, why be so concerned about how this movie's going to do? I could see this movie making no money, but I could see this movie making a ton of money because all the f- old people that saw Top Gun are going to also, like, Michael Keaton's their Batman. I don't think they care as much. Michael Keaton, like, I'm, I'm just saying it's like a legacy thing. It's the same reason why I argued that Indiana Jones could make a lot of money. It's a le- the legacy sequel thing. It's yeah. in. I mean, Top Gun. Him as Batman does not hold the weight that Top Gun with Tom Cruise does, though. Michael Keaton as Batman? Michael Keaton is so many people's Batman. Right. But it just, it's not as big of a thing as Top Gun. Top Gun did amazingly well for a reason. And this. We're going to clip that. Oh, the scene where Kevin Bacon is the guy from Top Gun is great. And they're like, oh, oh, this guy, Marty McFly? And he's oh, like, yeah. no, it's Michael J. Fox. And he's like, no, it's this guy. I didn't remember that actor. And they're so like, here, yeah, like the guys on the beach, you know, what was the guy on the beach named? You know, they're gay and they're they're riding in jets and they're playing beach volleyball. And they were like, oh, uh, Kevin Bacon or something like that. That was funny. That was really funny. 
Here's one of uh, the, the main negative I had coming away from it was it felt like it dragged in the middle to me. If you don't like Ezra, good luck with this movie. Yes. Because you get two Ezras. Yep. The entire movie. Yep. <laughs> yep. Talking to each other. Yep. And like, it's funny for a bit. And then it's just like, like annoying they're they're talking at the house and then they're figuring out that they that they're in the same universe and then they go to the lab and then they're learning to go through walls and then they're back at the apartment and it's just like and we it takes a long time before something new happens where it's not just them two talking to each other yep um and i thought that really dragged yes when when flash two is exploring his powers and yeah it's like running around and everything yeah and then he's naked so much what are we doing here? Yeah, I just was like, yeah. what's next? I agree. What did you think about Supergirl? I heard some people have problems with her. Yes, I think that you do. At least you mentioned you did a couple months ago. <laughs> well, you go first. It's probably the second highlight of the movie for me. Mm-hmm. I think that the fact that, first of all, she's gorgeous. <laughs> Um, but so the thing here's here's how I feel. The heel turn that is she was treated terribly by humans, then she was saved by a couple humans, but of course she doesn't like humans, so she's just gonna go hang out with Zod. I was like, oh, that's really good. I like that a lot. And then what? Zod just starts killing humans and that makes her want to save humans that heel turn I thought was bad but the second or third favorite part of the movie for me was that yeah she loses to Zod and I think that it was really creative all the ways that she lost to Zod and all the ways they tried to rewind it and that was the highlight of the movie for, like the my favorite part was the mom mm-hmm. probably my second favorite part was that she always lost and that they always lost in this universe I thought that that was really cool because it's this a is, canon event Right, because this is a so... universe where it's not Henry Cavill who understood his powers when he was 15, that the hearing and the... Like, she's just now learning her shit. So, yeah, of course she's going to lose to Zod. I thought that that was really cool. Yeah. Uh, Nicolas Cage. Yeah. I thought that was great. Yeah, so you know yeah. about the Tim yeah. Burton movie and everything that never got off the ground. Yeah. I do think the spider was, like, a part of that movie, so that was cool that we saw the spider. Yeah. Uh, I like that it was the vel- the velvet, the suit, like that's a reflective material, just like we saw in the concept art. I'm thrilled he has the long hair. The long hair, yeah, yeah. But he looked terrible. I mean, the CGI, the CGI for that whole... The CGI looked terrible. Was interesting. Christopher Reeve's Superman looked bad. The Supergirl in that universe looked really bad. They barely showed Adam West, so I couldn't tell if he looked bad or not, but... It was a cool scene. I love seeing them all. It was very fun. I didn't get a lot out of that. I'm glad that you got a lot out of that. It was nowhere near what I got out of, like, Spider-Verse. No, I mean, and No Way Home, like, they, they, they handle other Well, No things. Way Home's different. Right. Uh, but it was but like... But that's my thing. Like, is Michael Keaton coming back? Is that going to have the no, no Way Home effect for old people? No. I'm just not old. I thought it was good. It was a good movie. It just wasn't... You gave it an 8 out of 10, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just... I mean, Guardians is definitely better. Spider Verse is definitely better. Clearly, uh, I think Cocaine Bear is better. I think it's better than Quantum Mania. Um, it just. I think it's better than Quantum Mania, but I don't think by much. Yeah. Like, I think they're both a mess. At the end of the movie, at the end of the day, this movie's a mess. I don't think it was that much of a mess. I just think they had too much in the middle. Yeah. All right. What do you think of Dark Flash? I thought it was cool. Is no, that supposed sh- to be Savitar? What is that? No, it was just Barry. I don't know that that other character, but he looked like that design. No? Maybe. Maybe he took inspiration, but that happens in the comics all the time where he's got other versions of himself that are evil and this and that. Yeah, that whole thing was pretty cool. There were a lot of cool things in this movie. But I wish it was cooler. Like, that's my thing. Is It's like, what do you think of the dome? Obviously, the CGI looked terrible. I thought it was interesting. You and there were, there were fight scenes within the dome. It's cool. Again, I just think this storyline should not have happened in our first Flash movie. Yes. This would have been cool in a third Flash movie. The All the all the things at the end, the universe is coming in, that would have been cool in a, 
on down the line, like, when Flash is more established and everything, to do this storyline with his mom and time travel and resetting universes and, and, and everything and fighting himself, all that would have been cool in a second or third Flash That's movie. exactly what I was feeling in that first scene. I wanted a whole movie in the Snyderverse. Of that. But we knew that as soon as they announced that their first Flash movie was the Flashpoint Paradox, basically. But it's not Flashpoint, though. Like, we didn't get Thomas That's Wayne. That's true. Can you imagine? What's the guy, what's the guy that you think is handsome? He's in Walking Dead. Me? Jeffrey Dean Morgan. You're a big fan of his? I'm talking to my mother off screen. Um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan is Thomas Wayne in those movies. Can you imagine Flashpoint with Jeffrey Dean Morgan? You ever see Walking Dead? Mm -mm. He's the guy that beats everybody with a bat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that guy. He's Thomas Wayne. Can you imagine a Batman movie with him as Thomas Wayne? In Flashpoint doing that? Oh, do that. Yeah. Do that in Elseworlds, James. I think you're, I Finish think, the Snyderverse. No. It's dead. <laughs> Kill it. I think you're a little low on it. I think you're you're discrediting some of the good in the movie, but uh, I'm not going to tell you that you're completely wrong because mainly just because we want to be like, hey, guys, frick you for like saying this is even close to Spider-Verse. Anyone who puts this over Spider-Verse needs to be tranquilized. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh my gosh. Mom stuff is great though. And the... Uh, I love you. I love you more. I loved you first. I don't like that. Oh, you're f***ing out. You don't have a mom, clearly. That you have a little thing like that with your mom. Everybody's got a thing I, with your mom. I think that is so unbelievably cliche. And they've used it. F they've you. used it in so many movies where like someone's like, I love you. I love you uh, more. I love you. Whatever. Like, I have seen that in so many TV shows or but movies. But that's what you do with your mom. Like, my mom used to, when I was a child, and admittedly, a little too long in my life, she would wish me good night while I was in bed, and she would, like, she would wish me good night, and as she was leaving, she was like, good night, and we'd do the don't let the bed bugs bite thing, and we'd do it back and forth. Everybody has something like that with your mom. Clearly, you don't have a mother. I have a mother. I think it is a cliche that movies have used too much. Anytime, but everybody has a thing like that with their mom. Anytime, what's a, your thing with your mom? Anytime a writer, nothing. Your mother's anytime an a writer or a team of writers like tries to make a connection between characters, and it's a, I love you, I love you more. I, I I'm over it. I think it's stupid. Oh my gosh, how sad was it when he's screaming at, when, our Barry is screaming at that Barry. You used monkey as a dartboard. And, and he's like, mom gets us a ton of monkey stuff. We're her monkey. And he, like, can't tell him that his mom's dead and that he went back in time to save his mom and this yeah. and that was so good. There are moments in this movie, everything with the mom is great. Yeah. There's just moments in this movie that are so good. I also liked the ending. Did you like the ending that he flipped the cans? The, he put the cans on top. Oh, I loved that. Yeah, it was cool. I still think... Like timey wimey stuff, like things would get messed up if he, even if he did that. And you like that it's George Clooney instead. Yeah. <laughs> At the end, that's fine. Yeah, exactly. I'm really wondering if you didn't see George Clooney. I think I did. I think I just you forgot. Forgot. Or you didn't realize that he was Batman in Batman and Robin. No, I I, I definitely knew that. Yeah. I don't. I feel like I would have. I don't. It know. was very. Let me tell you, George is a terrible Batman. He was very good in this movie in the two seconds that he's in it where he's like, I just wanted to say congrats. He's good on the phone. And I hear it on the phone and I'm like, that's not Ben Affleck. So I was like, oh, this is our new Batman. That's what I was thinking. Eight out of 10, six out of 10. Yeah, mid. I can't believe, yeah. Eight out of 10 is just so generous. At least there was a good Batman. <laughs> not for me. You know what's a good Batman? Batman v Superman. Gross.